Denim fabric is one of uh, the fabrics that it's the most fun to work with. Uh, either it comes in lots of different colors. You can recycle denim into fun projects. And today I have one here that you can use either recycling denim from an old pair of jeans or you can purchase uh, denim from your local fabric store. So my name is Janet Prey and this is a project that we're using to get people excited about sewing and to teach them a beginner project. But it's also a great uh, gift project as well for those of you who have some sewing experience. So here's all you need. You need a 9 by 12 piece of denim. One piece. So you can take that out of an old pair of jeans or again you can take it out of yardage. Then you'll need a piece of batting, preferably fusible, and a piece of this stiff looks like batting, but it's stiffer. And it's either called Peltex or Createx, but uh, you'll find this, or Craftex, I'm sorry, you'll find this at your local fabric store and a piece of fabric from lining. So you can take that out of your stash or any old fabric will do for the inside. You're gonna layer the three of those together and you'll fuse them with your iron and you'll have a piece that looks like this. Now these are cut um, uh, shorter and smaller than um, the actual bag uh, denim and you'll see that in uh, on the website there'll be all the directions um, on how to make your own with all the dimensions. So we're going to start out with that um, 9 by 12 uh, piece of fabric and some half inch strips of denim and I like to have several different varied colors it gives more interest to the project and we're going to be sewing uh, using this denim variegated thread. Uh, it's great because it goes through all different shades of denim and it really hides inside the denim. So uh, that's a great uh, thread to use. All right, one of the first things I like to do is decorate the denim, the base of the clutch. And so I'm just gonna take a half inch strip of denim and lay it about an inch to an inch and a quarter away from the raw edge. We're going to just, uh, we're using a special foot today that has a little uh, a, uh, spring on the side. And that's set so that if I go across any heavy fabrics, um, it's very uh, forgiving and it, and it does the job for me. So I don't have to worry. So I'm going to start out back up. And it is important to sew down the center of the strip because we're going to fringe the strip or do what they call chenille to it. So we're just going to sew straight down the center. If you hold the strip and the bottom of the denim at the same time together, you'll keep one from being the bottom from being eased to the top. So that's important, but you don't need any pins or special basting or anything. Just go all the way to the end, back up. and then just cut off any excess tail here. I'm using a jeans size 14 needle today. And if you ever have trouble hemming your blue jeans, um, you might just be the needle is all that you need to change. So look for those in your fabric store. Now, after I've sewn down several strips, this is what I, it looks like. Now, to, in order to chenille this, one of the ways you can do it is just grab a hold of the threads, the lengthwise threads, and just start pulling. And pull until you like the looks of it, and it'll end up all nice and fringy like this. And that's the beauty of using denim for this project. It's real fun to create those different effects and real easy. And in a few minutes, I'll show you another way to do that fringing. Okay, so now we take the piece that we've fused and we lay it centered in the middle of our project. And then we're just going to stitch down close to the raw edge of our lining uh, fabrics and materials that have been fused together. So just, and again, grab a hold of that bottom layer and hold it in place so that it doesn't get sucked through the machine faster than the rest of your project. It'll serve you well and it'll keep everything nice and straight. So here we have one that I've already stitched down both sides. Now the next step is, is to fold over the short ends and stitch those down, but only stitch along the lining fabric. 
This will be important because we're going to fringe those edges later and it'll make more sense. So you're just going to stitch all the way down one side. And then stitch along the other side. And it'll look like this. Now, to make a closing, you can either add snaps right here or you can just stitch down a two inch piece of Velcro. And so it's just a matter of sewing all the way around the Velcro in just a square shape. And isn't this great? I have this knee lift. You notice the foot's going up and down. It's because underneath the machine, there's a little lift and I can just push it with my knee and I don't have to stop sewing to lift the foot. And again, up goes the, the foot and back down again and away I go. All right, so there we have the project so far. Now, it's so simple, just fold it up Get the Velcro to hold. And now we're gonna sew down both edges w using the zipper foot. Now if you've never used a zipper foot or you don't know which one it is in your machine, it has the narrowest toe and only one single toe as opposed to two on most feet. So we're gonna take the foot off and add this zipper foot. This machine is adjusting for the different levels, but uh, you may have an older machine at home that won't do that, so uh, you'll have to adjust accordingly. And we're just going to sew as close to that edge as possible. And again, repeat on the other side. Always back up, so we seal those stitches. Right on down. Okay, and so there it is, all sewn together. And now what I want to do is show you another technique for fringing this edge. And certainly, you can fringe the edge just as I showed you before by pulling the threads out. But I found this handy little tool and it's called a chenille brush. And this makes it a lot faster. And it just pulls those threads right out for you. And you just keep working your way along until you have the amount of fringe that you like the looks of. And you can do use the brush on the strips as well. I just want to show you that it's really easy just to pull those threads out by hand. And it will stop fringing because you've stitched it. So there we go, fringed. And here's the completed project. It's a cute little clutch that you can keep coupons in or makeup, put it in your hand uh, handbag. It makes great stocking stuffer, great gifts. And if you look here, I have a lot of different options. So I hope you enjoyed this project and you'll make some real soon.